Hi there, my name is Vilalem Herzog. I'm one of the three portfolio managers here at GCM, and I'll be giving you a quick overview of an article I wrote in the most recent issue of Review called Value Investing, the long and the short of it. Chart one in the article shows the returns delivered by the MSCI World Value Index compared to the MSCI World Index and compared to the MSCI World Growth Index. The MSCI World Value Index consists of those stocks in the MSCI World Index which has the lowest price to forward earnings ratio, the lowest price to book multiple, and the highest dividend yield. So a combination of those three factors. The MSCI World Growth Index is that half of the index which basically does not form part of the MSCI World Value Index. And then obviously the MSCI World Index is just the total universe from which these two sub-indices are compiled. As the chart very clearly shows, the MSCI World Value Index has delivered substantially better returns than both the MSCI World Index and especially so compared to the MSCI World Growth Index. So in summary, value investing works. That is why as a firm we follow a value investing philosophy. It delivers the best long-term returns at the lowest level of risk compared to other investing strategies. Even in its simple form, as we see in these indices, these are very simple indices based purely on quantitative metrics of value. As a firm, we follow a philosophy of favoring high quality businesses trading at cheap prices. So our pattern of returns and the returns we generate as a firm will not always correlate perfectly with that of a purely quantitative value index like the ones we see in the chart, but there's a reasonable correlation over time. Why does everyone then not follow a value investing philosophy? It delivers such good returns over the long term, delivers lower levels of risk. It seems to be an absolute no-brainer to follow a value philosophy. The answer really is that value investing doesn't always work in the short term. And the short term can be uncomfortably long compared to the time frame and the horizon of many investors in today's markets. South Africa has been a perfect case in point. Chart 2 shows the returns delivered by the MSCI, or sorry, by the FTSE JSE Value Index compared to the FTSE JSE All Share Index since 2004, which is the inception date of the FTSE JSE Value Index. You can see there have been three very distinct cycles in this 10 year time period. From 2004 to 2007, value actually delivered very poor returns. From 2007 to early 2011, the value index outperformed the all share index substantially. But from about early 2011 to date, the value index has again underperformed very substantially. This has been very much our experience in the South African equity market over the past number of years. Our South African equity performance has lagged that of the broader market, but it has been our experience that that is because expensive assets, which have been expensive for some time, has kept going up, while cheap assets, where we have allocated capital to, have really gone either nowhere or even declined in price somewhat. We are very confident that this is a cycle, that this is not the normal permanent state of affairs. And incidentally, if you look at that entire 10 year period shown in chart two, value has now underperformed the broader market for the entire 10 year period. This is a highly unusual state of affairs. If you look back at the longer history of the MECI world indices shown in chart one, there have only been about six, in only about 6% of all rolling 10 year periods shown in this 40 year time span as value underperformed the broader market. So we've gone for 10 years in South Africa where value has underperformed the broader market in South Africa, which as history shows in the global context is a highly unusual state of affairs and one which we would be very surprised if it persists for the, for the longer term. So despite the poor performance of value investing in South Africa recently, we have full confidence in the strategy going ahead and we have no doubt as to which philosophy we'll be following for years to come, namely value investing. Thank you.